Most of the time, independent candidates flame out. Who am I? Why am I here? <laughs> because as the old saying goes, in politics, there are only two things in the middle of the road, highway stripes and roadkill. Charlie Chris learned that one the hard way. I'm as bad as conservative as you can get. As an independent, can't tell you how comfortable I am as a Democrat. But in the presidential race this year could be different because Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton have turned off a lot of voters and somebody could take advantage of that, which brings us to the remnants of the Never Trump Brigade. Donald Trump is a phony, a fraud. His promises are as worthless as a degree from Trump University. Never Trumpers like Mitt Romney and Ben Sass and Tom Coburn and others have all said they will not run as an independent. But Weekly Standard Editor Bill Crystal stirred the pot by claiming there will be an independent candidate with a strong team and real chance that fired up the rumor mill and provoked Ben Carson to chime in with our overstatement of the week. Well, I think what uh, Bill Crystal and many others like him need to recognize is America right now is like a cruise ship that is about to go off of Niagara Falls with tremendous carnage and death. So that brings us to what happens next. Tremendous carnage and death aside. The logistical challenges for an independent candidate at this late date are enormous. Conservative writer and Iraqi war veteran David French's name has already been floated and look for other names to pop up as well. Of course, pundits say it may be too late for any independent candidate to mount a serious bid. And then you'd have to deal with this question about getting on the ballot in states where the deadline has already closed. But they may be missing the point and the never Trump movement strategy. While it's quite a long shot, a conservative independent could in fact win the White House this year just by winning a couple of states. And here's how it could happen with someone like Mitt Romney. Let's suppose he does run, even though he said he wouldn't. I, I haven't, I'm not familiar precisely with exactly what I said, but I stand by what I said, whatever it was. Romney or someone like him could win a conservative Western state like, say, Utah and maybe a couple of others that did not go for Trump in the primaries. Well, in a close race, that could stop Trump and Clinton from reaching the 270 electoral votes they would need. And that would send it to the Republican-led House of Representatives to decide the winner. And in that scenario, Paul Ryan and his caucus could choose between Clinton, Trump, or someone like Paul Ryan's old running mate. And that's how someone like Mitt Romney could still get the last laugh. A business genius he is not. Of course, that could also set up a fight of the century with Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, and that would get ugly. 